Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Here in Victoria, Ocean 98.5 hosts the province's longest-running BC Children's Hospital Radiothon, where families from right in their community share stories and inspiration with the listeners. And with me today are the hosts, Lisa Marshall and Michael Forbes, to tell us about this amazing event. Yes. Now in the 13th year, why is this such an important event? Well, it's important because we get to raise that money each and every year. And what's really exciting is that this year we hit the $2 million mark. So we were absolutely thrilled. And what's it like for you, Michael, to listen to these stories and, and share them with your listeners? Well, sometimes it's tough, but mostly inspirational. And, and when a family shares their story, the phones ring, and that's how we raise our money, because uh, they're certainly inspiring, and this community has certainly come together. Wonderful. Well, let's see how much you raised this year. You guys can uh, shout out the total for Ready? us. Ready? Right. Okay. One hundred eighty-two thousand one hundred and ninety-nine. Amazing! Another outstanding effort by our friends at Ocean ninety-eight-five from Victoria. I'm Kylie Stanton. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before: is that we have to do it all, and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Jogan Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere and I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born, it was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero, zero. It's a confetti storm. 
Thank you very much, party. British Columbia. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Alex. Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Little ones laughing, lost in their play. Through grateful lies, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you and peace comes to you from above. Miracles happen.